this is not a sponsored ad in any way. We're not getting anything for telling you about this app. I just run across it and I found it helpful and I hope you would find it helpful as well. And the water is just it's digging you some steps and this is wet. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be surveying our property using an app called Onex Backcountry. Uh, you will have to have the full subscription, which is not a whole lot of money. I think it's like $30 for a year, and it will provide you the overlays of your property boundaries, and it's really accurate. Let me show you how to do this. So before we get started, let's talk about what you're going to need. Uh, first off, let's talk about safety. We are in the middle of hunting season, so you can see I have an orange hat on and my orange vest. Tanya's got her orange on. Things that you're going to need to do your marking is you're going to need some way to mark your property line. So I've got a bundle of these orange flags, and also I've got a machete, and then I have a folding saw. These are the things that you're going to need to have at a minimum. Probably a tape measure wouldn't be a bad idea if you're like trying to get an idea of how far the GPS is off. All right, let's talk about what a GPS survey is. A GPS survey is a, an approximate uh, location of your property line. It's also a good way to find where your actual property line is because it'll get you in the general vicinity where you probably can run across the actual property marker. This is not a legal survey, so we are putting these temporary flags in because there's still going to be a possibility we could be 5 or 10 feet on either side of our property line. Uh, right now, I already know where our front property line uh, markers are. We're going to use this app called Own X Backcountry uh, to get very, very close. All right, I just started recording my screen, and let's see. Now I'm going to go to the app, which is OnX. Let's see here, OnX Backcountry. Now this is a subscription. It's like I don't know, like thirty dollars a year, and it, when you get it at uh, you get the subscription, uh, it gives you the property lines where you can actually each state has the property lines overlaid. Now you can, if you look at this video when I'm clicking on it. Uh, you can see that you can do a hybrid map where you, you have a, a topical, topographical map and a picture, a satellite picture, and then you have a, just a satellite picture that I push right there, or you just use the topographical map. I use the topographical map because pictures are taken from space, and from the satellites may be at angles, and there's a lot of, lot of math and trigonometry and all that stuff in there where it can be off, the picture can actually be off a little bit where I find that the actual topographical map is a much more, a much closer representation of what's going on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over and find our property line, uh, our front property line. And we'll see how close the actual app is to the known corner of the property. We're walking to our southern west, our southwest corner of our property. And the GPS just tracks right along with you, so it gives you a good update of where you're at. You can also zoom in and zoom out based upon the, you know, just moving your two fingers in and out so you can really get some details there. The gizmo dog, it loves surveying. Survey the safety dog. So now we're looking at the, the app and we are standing right directly on top. We're, we're, the, the app's got me within about, uh, let's see, within about three or four feet of the actual pin. This, this is not the pin, but you look right here at the ground, there's a, the actual survey pin is in the ground right there. So we'll go ahead and put our little orange flag up and that is our southwest uh, corner. Yes. So what we're going to do now is find us a way into the woods. This looks pretty good. Looks promising. And I think I'm going to do my first little bit of hacking here. I got to take care of my camera lady behind me. Again, this app is only as good as the information that is put into it. Uh, some of the GPS coordinates from years ago were not put in correctly. So we are, our actual property line seems to be about 
five or six feet uh, further south than what is the actual, what the GPS is telling us. So once you know that information, you can take that into consideration and just kind of put each one of the pins about, we're gonna put each one of the pins roughly about uh, uh, four or five feet further uh, south. But then again, this is also why we say this is not a, a legal survey, just a general survey. So each neighbor knows we're kind of where we're kind of at. So this this is an old logging trail, which it, it's falling right along the property line. Um, so we pretty I knew this was going to be the case because when they cut the timber, they obviously couldn't go over onto the neighbor's property. So this logging trail stayed right on the edge of the property. Now we're about uh, probably halfway to the end of the property line. Getting getting it's swampier back here. I'm trying to get Tanya a way to walk through here. Uh, I'm going to take the the mulcher and come through here and then follow that that trail down. So right here is this is showing accurate right here. So I'm I'm still accurate. I'm showing within just a few feet of. Actually, it's, it's it's actually once I settle in, let it settle in. When you want to put a marker down, it's best just to turn your phone up. And obviously, I got these little metal stakes. You don't want to be by the metal stakes. And let it settle. And once you let it settle, that's where you put your marker at. And we're within just a few feet of our property line right here. So like I said, it, I'm showing that the GPS is about probably five or, you know, five feet off of, off of accurate. And we're on our neighbor's property now. There's the logging trail over there. So we've ventured off of the logging trail. Let me get us back onto the logging trail. Okay, it looks like, Tanya, it might be easier to walk around on our neighbor's property. I got another flag over I put the other day. So, yeah, I remember this now. So it is going to be easier. This goes, there's a ravine over here on this side. That's why I went this way the other, last time we were out here. This washout right here. Yeah, I can see the flags coming up down through there now. And there's the flags that I put up earlier. A lot of vines. We'll get down here to the creek. This is our first creek. It's all fresh water, runs out of this creek. This is one of two creeks. This is a small one. These run year round. So whether it is uh, a drought or not, there's always water here. So the animals always come to this location. It's one of Gizmo's favorite places because yeah, this is his water break. All right, let me see if I can get down here. You be careful up there. It's solid. It's a little, little stuff on top. It's just water. You got, you got mud boots on. Thanks, All right, so you can look down at the phone here. On. Come on, Gizmo. Yeah, you don't care. So the phone, we're right on the property line. We're just a hair to the south of this property line, and that's right in line with, uh, we know this line is approximately five five feet off. So we're, we're, we're just tracking it. Again, you want to, before you put a stake down or a marker down, you want to get really still. And just make sure if you'll notice the little marker there has got has got stable. Right there, a little blue dot. Alright, so I'm gonna put one more right here. There's mud right there. So this is where the deer come down. If you look 
this way, this is looking north of our, on our property. There are uh, a pretty good way for our, we're a good ways from my deer viewing area, but this is, they track this way and they go up into this, this hollow and uh, bed down for the night. Yeah, I think that's a beach. Uh -huh. It's a beach or birch. I can't even remember the, which one to which. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a birch. They can't hear you, baby. You don't have a mic on. Now, this is, I come here the other day using the app and got these in. Now, what I want to do today is I want to take my app out and see how close we are. So, like I said, I'm going to get here, hold my phone out in front and let it settle. The GPS will get a little bit more fine tuned as, as you be still. Yep, that's pretty, pretty, pretty dog. It's showing about five feet to the south of the property line. That's pretty good. Now is how you can put a marker. Let's say you you find a place that deer are bedding down and you just want to know where it's at for the future reference. So we know right here the deer were bedding down. So I'm just going to push and hold and you'll see that it comes up and says add waypoint. And you can tap on that, delete it, and say uh, deer bed. I don't know if I can spell deer. Push save. And when you click on this next time, it'll come up and say deer bed, uh, deer bed down site. So you can always come back and find that location if you're ever looking for it. If you want to ever delete one, you just click on the actual marker and you'll scroll across to the right, push delete, and then it's gone. Make sure you dig in your heels when you come down so you're, you're digging you some steps. And this is wet. And, uh, or you can just fall down. I lost all cool points. Uh, don't be laughing there, Hot Rod. You got to come down next. Nice. This is real life here. That looks easier, right, Jenner? This wasn't here last time I was here. Anyway, what I was saying is, is there's, as you go up this, this creek here, uh, there's white sand that comes out of the creek and what that is is there's springs where we see the white sand that spring a natural spring coming out of the out of the land and the water has come through that spring so much that it's washed all the iron deposits out of the sand and the sand is completely white it's also why we have really good water here probably better go this way try not to stab myself with the Knife as I go up. Uh, really? <laughs> All right, hold up right there. I'm going to cut this vine out of our way. That's pretty solid. Don't put no real weight on it, though. All right, so let's see where we're at. We are, but we're still in our woods, and we've we've wandered over to the to the uh, more towards the north. Yeah, so our property line is further that way. I see a flag that I put up here last time. So our property goes right up here to that fence. Really? Your idea and my idea forever. All right, so this is my this is my best guess of based upon the map. Let me go ahead and start recording the screen here so you guys can see where we're at. 
we know that the property lines are not exactly right on the map. So the, there are five or six feet off. Here's the fence. And when you look at the property fence, it tells us that our lines meet somewhere right in here. So our next door neighbor's property line comes from back that way up to here. And then our property goes out this way. And what I did is I found a, if you look, there is a piece of fence right here. Right here is this fence. And that fence goes out through there and we can, we'll, we'll pick that up along the way. And we know the fence is the original property line. So that also tells me that these flags are in the right place. To the east is somebody else's property. And then our property is to the west of this line now. Now, if we come in here with the mulcher, we would find that fence somewhere right in here. So you can see here, this is some of the old metal fence. Well, they don't make fence like this anymore. This is probably, I, I bet it's 70, 80 years old. It's an old metal fence. This used to be the property line right here. And it goes down through here. Let's see, I got an orange marker right there. And so what, means, what, what that means is we are very close to the property line. Back in the days of early land you know, ownership, fences were pretty much the property line. That's how things were uh, determined. When they, when they actually come out and did surveys of the land, they followed whatever the fence was because at that point in time, the fences were pretty much the agreed on property line. Okay, we are at the halfway point, and let me kind of talk why this is so important. Doing this survey has really helped us, and what I want to say is, is we bought this property at the very beginning of this year, and once we paid for it, we literally have never been on this side of the property because you had to go through a swampy area and that big ditch, and in the spring, there's a lot of water in that, a lot more than there is now. It's literally, you can't cross it. So we come over here with this app, and we walked our property, and it turns out, you know, you buy a piece of land, it has a, it says there's so many acres, whatever. It doesn't really translate into your mind of how much land you actually own. We get over here and we understand that we had a lot more usable land on this side of the property, on the east side of the property than we realized. We got a lot bigger timber uh, and there's some places here that maybe we want to put a, uh, another cabin over here at some time, but we definitely want some walking trails. And, and that's why this app is so cool because you can, uh, you know, you can find your property line, All right? This is a little bit more of that fence. So we know we're, we know we're on the right track for sure. So this is a, an old logging trail we're back on and it's just full of ferns, wild ferns. It's really pretty back here. Tanya's back here in the back yelling about briars getting her. And let's pause right here and go across and look at the, all right, so this is what I was talking about earlier. We can get to this portion with a, with a tractor on that side. But if you look, this is like a, uh, probably a 12, 13 foot uh, ravine or ditch. It's a ditch is what it is, or not a ditch, but a creek that runs year round. Freshwater Creek. And this is, a, this is probably one of the most narrow spots on it for putting a bridge across here. So we can get a tractor. So this has got to happen before we can get a tractor to this side of the property. I'm going to go ahead and make some markers right here. So we know this is where we're looking for the bridge. All right, now we're getting to where the creek runs right up next to the property line. So you can see here, I've already marked this with orange tape a few weeks ago. And it goes across... If you look right here, this is the actual property line which goes across this creek right here. So this is our, is actually where the property line crosses the creek. I went down over there the other day, but I didn't have uh, muck boots on either. So, and there was a lot more water the other day. Let's see if... Right. Get, get my car. Get my. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bye. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We want to record you doing this again. <laughs> Come here. I was already recording now. Sorry, buddy. This looks. Well, th this is going to be okay right here. And I'm just going to get in the water and walk down to that. That's a spring. We need to come and show them that spring. Yeah, that's not bad at all right here. It's just a butt. That's why God gave me so much padding. So this uh this is hard it's hard pan here. It's it's water but it's uh solid as can be. It's got sand it's got a sand bottom. So come on out over here and I'll show you that spring I'm talking about. Guess what? you knocked the flag down, Dunfus. You put the flag back up. See, so that's what you get for that's what you get for making me walk back down this hill again. So right here, you'll start seeing this white sand. And when you see it, it's, it's coming out of this hillside right here. This is a live spring. And we have a very high iron content in our area. But after a while, the water leaches out for so long, it, uh, it washes all the iron out. And you have these white, these, this white sand. And the water is just, it, it's a very sweet water. You can drink the water coming out of that. You know, this is a lot easier to get up. That's why I went up last time. Whew. All right. We're almost to the corner of our property. You need a hand? Careful on that vine there. It might pull out on you. All right, according to the GPS, this portion right here, I'm going to put three or four flags right here. This is our corner. And then the property that way is somebody else's. Whew. Okay, now we've got three of our corners of our property. We want to move on up to get the final one. So then this area right here, we were talking about building the cabin and we thought our property line was a little bit further that way, probably about 30 or 40 feet that way. And I'm glad we used the app and did all of this marking because now we know that we're going to do the, if we're going to do the cabin back here, we need to go this way. We don't want people to be able to see it from the property line. However, this is wooded area. Uh, probably nobody's ever going to build around this, but still we want it to be, we want it to be alone. Like people. As long as I don't see them, right? So this will be our trail. It'll go that way. What? So this is another little stream that comes through here all year long. And this is a little bridge that we just put across it temporarily. Eventually we're gonna have a bigger bridge right here and the tractor will be able to get across it. And then we'll be able to get across the, the large area. We want multiple places to get, uh, to get across. Obviously the water is good. Gizmo always drinks the water out of this one. There's a live spring right here. You start seeing some of the sand popping up right there. So there's a live spring right there. All right, so what we got here, if you look, you can see that there's the actual survey marker right there. And we already knew that was there. But uh, this, uh, this app has done a really great job. We're within, uh, again, we're within five feet of it. It says that this pin right here is about five feet over there. And the reality is the whole thing is about five feet off. 
and it's going to be different from your location to our location based upon satellites, how the, the maps information was put in. There's so many variables. So some people have said that, you know, this might be 10 or 15 feet off. In our case, uh, all of the markers that are known markers have been within, you know, five feet of the actual marker. So that's really pretty accurate. Again, this is not a legal survey, but it is something that will help you find uh, a good understanding about your land and how much of your land that you actually own. Uh, we're not sponsored by Onex Backcountry in any way, form or fashion. We just found this app to be useful and I like it. Hope you like it too. God bless. Have a great day.